we now have professionals who are going to be speaking about their role in medication safety. We have Dr. Fatima Shamin, clinical pharmacist from Amrita Institute of Medical Sciences, Kochi, who's going to talk about the role of clinical pharmacists in patient safety. Over to you, Dr. Fatima. Thank you, ma'am. Good afternoon, one and all. Patient safety has to be emphasized, not just today because it's World Patient Safety Day, but every day in the life of a healthcare provider. I would like to start by addressing an issue revolving around patient safety, lack of awareness and education. There are still patients living among us who are unaware of their disease condition or the medications they are taking for their disease. And this is one of the strong reason for non adherence to medication. We also have another set of smart patients who Xerox their prescriptions and use them again and again for the same symptoms they had consulted before. And this behavior and practice should change in order to improve medication safety from a different perspective. Pharmacists are generally considered as dispensing machines when they have a superior role to play in the community. There are community pharmacists hospital pharmacists and clinical pharmacists. Clinical pharmacists have a more patient-centered approach in collaboration with others on the healthcare team to optimize patient health. So I would like to stress some essential medication-related responsibilities of clinical pharmacists linked in improving patient safety. They have the responsibility of ensuring access to safe medicines. The medicines should be affordable to the patient and equally effective alternative, option, alternative options are, should be also available. Educate patients and caregivers on safe and effective medication use. Reviewing proper dosing can prevent medication errors and avoid drug interactions. Determining medication appropriateness or rationality of prescriptions by applying the five R's of medication administration. Right patient, right drug, right time, right dose, and right route. By reviewing how patients are taking their medicines, pharmacists can help them in improving patient adherence. Pharmacists review may determine what kind of medications are causing adverse drug reactions. By this way, they can simplify the medication regimen and identify gaps in reaching treatment goals and prevent the prescriptions of medications that have adverse interactions. Pharmacist-led medication reconciliation is a very important procedure. This can ident identify potential interactions or any missing medicines from their medication list at transitions in care. Now, this area is prone to be error. They are actively participating in antimicrobial stewardship programs. They assess doctors in protocol guidelines, antibiotic policy development. They participate in quality improvement initiatives, formulary management, and also provide drug information services. I would like to proudly talk about an initiative taken by a group of passionately working clinical pharmacists, the Federation of Clinical Pharmacists in India, which is also a nonprofit organization working to enhance quality, high quality patient care by involving and expanding clinical pharmacists' roles and responsibilities, collaborating and networking with doctors for optimizing therapy. So I'm expecting support and guidance from everyone present here. After all, we all are working for the same goal to improve patient care and provide medications with no harm. Thanks to Kaho for this wonderful opportunity and for hosting this webinar. Thank you so much, Dr. Fatima. I truly appreciate it. And we all believe in collaboration. Uh, dear friends, a couple of days back, we got a call from Mohammed Faisal who said, we have a young group of passionate professionals, the Federation of Clinical Pharmacists, who would want to collaborate with Kavo and take this forward. And we truly appreciate it because this one phone call gave us the network of all of you. Thank you so much for joining, for accepting our invitation and being part of this.